How's it going guys? My name is Alex and welcome to Norwood Hitchhike. So this is the second installment to the Fears to Fathom episodic horror series. And I have no idea about what this one's going to be about, but it looks like we're going to be stranded in a motel. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. Of what year? <laughs> This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. How are you really? I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet first. But I'm getting, getting it out may help. Even if it, even if just a little bit. Sorry, my tongue was a little bit rolly today. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get the chance to. Oh, that's same here as me. And sometimes I even meet some of my online friends. I do too, and I think that was really cool. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. Buy a plane ticket would have been too expensive. That's definitely true, even here in Virginia. This convention, I... Uh, I was at went great and it was now the day to drive back home but when I set off I soon realized the traffic was horrible I decided I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic I was a little over tw it was a little 12 hour over 12 hour drive sorry my tongue to there just kept rolling off the tongue all right Not bad. Can I turn that off? Okay. I have no idea what that music is about, but... Don't know if I really like that song. I mean, it's, it's okay, but... If I was to travel during the night, it'd be some dark piano music. If you guys have ever, um... If you guys ever heard of this YouTuber called Mew, M-Y-U-U? He's a pretty good dark piano musician. I suggest you guys go check that out. I actually have his um, one of his music as my outro music now. So you should be able to find his channel real easily. I have a link in the description below. Just click on his name on the description and you'll be able to find him there. Okay. Near halfway through drive, I realized I was low on gas. That usually happens to everybody. So now we just gotta find ourselves a gas station, which hopefully a gas station is not far from here. My dad keeps sending me text messages. Hang on, dad, I'm texting and driving. Well, not really texting and driving, which is something I'm definitely not going to do because I don't want to die. You guys see that? Okay. Oh, there's me a gas station. Oops. Almost done wrecked my vehicle. <laughs> There we go. Aha. Now, let me check my messages real quickly. Let's see. I told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly. I, it's going to be late when you reach back. I uh, hope you're feeling all right. I'm sure I'll be just fine, Dad. So you can just lay off now. Let's. Oh, come on. Man, it's pretty, uh, pretty rare I get to move stuff. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, somebody who has faith in me, huh? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's pay for gas. Huh. 
Can I get 10 bucks on pump two? Well, I guess it all depends on which pump you're at. Yes. All right, text message from mom. Hmm. You're heading towards the bridge by yourself? Yes, yeah, why? Not a lot of people head down there at this time of year. Be careful. You got it. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. How would you know? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say Norwood Valley Monster had tore them up and hung them upside down on trees. What? Uh... Well, thanks for gas. Okay. Sorry, I had to scratch my arm. Let's see, Mom. Let's see, Holly. Mom. <laughs> Let's see, can I move this? I want to move this. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's just weird. I thought I was going to have to drag by the colors here. But no, I guess not. Okay, now I got them organized. I'll be able to read them. Okay. Guess better go pay for my gas. And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that... That she seeks vengeance after she was raped and murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road, putting their thumbs out... They ain't what the what you think, ma'am. Okay. They just ain't. Okay. Cool. What the hell? Okay. It's very weird. I'm gonna check that message in just a second. I filled the tank and I was off to the road again. See, I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. Okay. I'll see if there might be some dog food in here. I mean, the mom did say she was going to pay me back, so... Oh, there they are. <laughs> pat, pat. <laughs> Looks like the uh, kibbles and bits I usually get for my dogs. Let's see, you got pump two, thanks. That'd be five dollars. Okay. okay, I didn't know I was gonna have to hold the bag. I thought I had to give it to him. Okay. Now I got the stuff. I'm gonna. I'll just put that in the boot. <laughs> in the boot. There we go. All right, here we go. Back out to a nice little world of a drive. Okay. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Hmm. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Mom sent me a text message. But I really don't want to check my messages while I'm driving. It'd be a little dangerous. And plus, what if that woman is out there? Uh... Headlights? Oh, okay. What the hell was wrong with my, uh... What was wrong with my headlights? They just turned off. Oh, no. Don't you dare. No. No.
Oh, hell no. Hell no. No, 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 no. Come on, headlights. Turn back on. Turn back on. <laughs> that was a stuffy. Turn back on. Turn the headlights back on. Wait, what happened to the car? Oh, this ain't good. Oh, well, okay. I didn't get... Oh, okay. Okay, that was weird. That was really, really weird. God, these games, they just, um... Fierce to fathom so far. They just managed to creep me out. I mean, not really, like, much of scared, but then... But... They just managed to... Creep the hell out of me. Well, then again, that old man from the first, um... From the first game, they... That one managed to scare the hell out of me for some odd reason. Okay. Oh, man, now I'm going off the dirt road. Huh. Well, this is interesting. A little bridge. Is this the bridge that the gas attendant was talking about? I think so. Okay, maybe I will turn on that music. Okay, no. No, that was too creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I will not play songs if they were too creepy. I know I like dark piano music, but that's the only thing that I will take that's rather musically. Was that a human body or... Or, is, or am I just seeing things? Oh, no. 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 Oh, God. Okay. Okay, headlights, you can stop doing that. Stop turning off. What in the world is going on out here? That car? Oh. Bunny rabbit. What the hell is that noise? No, 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 I'm definitely knowing that I'm hearing something. What in the world? I'm so confused. I don't know what the hell's going on. This is a very weird thing about that night. Oh, God. Logs. If someone had to ever put those there. They were very heavy. Hmm. Um, okay. Now my car won't start. That's weird. Car wouldn't start back up. Huh? It was just like that I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap at gas station clerk pulled. I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. Let's see, I didn't. In my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. Well, that's just ridiculous. Okay, 10.23 p.m.
Okay, so was I basically stuck out there for, for the like next few hours? I saw a car nearing. Oh. Um, hey, wait a minute. Wait. Damn it. You're evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Very selfish asshole. There was another one. There was another one? 10.43 p.m. Okay. Oh, okay. My light just got dimmer. Hey, stop. 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 Ow. You frickin' You're a jerk. Frickin' jerk. Oh. Okay, he just ran me the hell over. Come on. Okay, why am I not running? Let's see, you're the girl from the gas station. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. See, I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Uh, let's see. Just the nearest stop where I could call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Uh, could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up, just throw it in the back. Uh, it won't be here. Won't be here for too long. Okay. Well, let's go get my stuff and throw it in the back. <laughs> okay, it's pretty cool, this guy. I didn't... I don't remember him, really. I mean... Wasn't he the guy... No, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. He was the guy in the blue shirt. All right, just need just a few more things. Just need to throw them in the back of the truck and we can get the hell out of here. All right, come on, come on, don't leave, don't leave. Don't leave me. Okay, I think just one more thing is also the dog food. Which I'm pretty sure this is where we're gonna get stranded at the motel, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that was some very strange eerie noises. See, is there anything else? Couldn't drive without my stuff behind. Okay. Oh, all my stuff is there, so. Let's see, hurry up. I need to get moving now. See, I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Okay. All right. So I guess um, time to get into the motel business. We're probably gonna be calling for help there, or it could be another gas station. So you won't tell me who you are, or where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. Let's see. I was driving home and that piece of crap broke down on me. <laughs> what? My name's Jason. Okay, see. I'm Holly. Yeah. Well, we did some uh, formal introductions. 
Just don't suffer any, uh... Oh, you're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say you are one brave young woman. See, how's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was, uh... Let's see, I think it was battery? Are you sure? It's my dad's, it's pretty old. Am I sure? No, I, I was not completely sure. It kind of looks like it was on the battery side of the vehicle, so... Well, I think actually batteries are on, like, the right side, not on the left side. It just depends on the vehicle. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Let's see. He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that every person traveling down here. Do I have the option to... No, I don't. I'm guessing getting through the conversations would probably be the only way uh, to keep going. Okay, as long as you just don't stop for any uh, women with some creepy gowns. Blue and white to be exact. <laughs> creepy gowns. God, this is definitely different than the first episode. This is really freaking creepy. I wonder what the other um, episodes would be like. I know I got this one to do. And I got two more. And then there's supposed to be another chapter. I guess and that's the final chapter. It's supposed to be coming out pretty soon. I know the uh, fourth episode just came out recently of October of last year. Yeah, I'm very, I really do apologize for, um, for being such a delay to play these, uh, Fears to Fathom games. I just never really had the chance to do so. I just, I didn't have the money to get the games, but now I do. But I've actually paid for all the four episodes. So pretty much now, again, just playing the games ain't gonna be no problem. Okay. I guess we're just going to be on a nice long ride to the motel. But while I'm doing that, guys, um, I have some, uh, I got some, I kind of switched out the t-shirts in the merchandise store or premium t-shirts. I kind of thought they were a little expensive to the blood. So I actually just switched them out to like regular men's t-shirts and I thought they were pretty cool as well. If you guys go down the link in the description below, it's actually cheaper now and 15% off makes it a little bit more cheaper than it is. There is some shipping fees, though, but if you take the 15% off, it actually takes a lot of that shipping away and actually makes it like a free shipping for you guys. Even though you're paying for it, 15% off, it actually makes it, make it for free. So if you guys actually click on the link in the description below, it'll actually be there. All you gotta do is just click on the redeem, but you guys gotta hurry, though. You guys only got seven days to do that 15% off before it's all gone. All right, let's get back to this. 12.08 AM. Oh, so it was a two hour drive, okay. After a bit of a small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said anonymously before leaving. Okay. Oh. Well, um... Bye. Hey, there's all my stuff. Roadway right in. The man was putting out the creepiest vibe imaginable. Gal need a room to shack up for the night. <laughs> uh, how much is it for a room? Let's see. Yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. How much is it for a room? Forty dollars for a single. Pay cash only. Pay. Okay. Room number nine, right over there. So you talk about the car. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of for the next thing in the for next thing in the morning. Pay for that. Okay. 
Good, I'll, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Okay. See, not approved for occupancy. Before any person is removed. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and just walk into my room. One. Okay, I'm just gonna stay right here so I don't wake up the neighbors. Two. Three. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's nine. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be nine. Okay, here we go. Nice and warm inside. I have a smell of time, musky smell. Oh, shit, mother. Ah. Let's see, what are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. Hey, who are you? I'm Tommy, roof service here at Roadway Inn. The finest shop sleep stop over in Norwood. <laughs> Let's see, um, where were you doing? Uh, oh God, I lost my voice for a second. You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. He, he. I'm just gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Okay, that was freaky. Oh my god, but at least I know that was Tommy. Okay, so I can't grab one of these. Okay. So no making it easy. I'm just gonna have to make this hard on myself and actually just grab the stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a I'm a big I'm a big girl. Big girl who could carry stuff. Are you sure I can't put these at least in one cart? No. Yeah, I'll just put it right here. There we go. I uh, had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. That is a really creepy smile that he's got right there. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. He he he. But you have a good night. Okay. To you as well. That is just freaking creepy. But at least he's gonna get my car fixed. At least I hope. I'm starting to have a feeling that I'm gonna be stranded out here too. Only had two hands. <laughs> oh god. So you can't just flip a bag over your shoulder and just grab it from there and then grab two more bags and put the hat over your head. Man, that's something I would have done. Okay, so he's on on his way to grab my car. I think I just got two more things and then I'll um I'll be ready and sell for the night. Oh my god, this is really creeping me out. It's kind of funny when you get to like you can like occupy one of the rooms during the night, and I think that's actually the most creepiest to do. Normally I would check into a motel during the day because that's actually less creepy, but I mean then again when you have no choice, I mean what choice would you have? Uh, 
All right. Okay. Let me check my messages real quickly. What are y'all doing scared? Okay, I might have to say I'm a hotel tonight. Um, not ex it's not expired or anything, right? Um, Holly. Okay. Bad service. Okay, close that. So if I know whoever enters the, uh, the motel, my motel room, then I'll definitely know who enters by them having the door leave left open. That's usually how it works, but some people are pretty smart and have it closed. I guess I'm going to have to get the phone. Okay. You have a great night's sleep. But, um, you guys got a phone? If I could give somebody a call? Guess not. I would love to have a telephone to call my dad, call my mom. Call somebody. If I can get some help. I guess I'm going to get some sleep first. Because I definitely know I'm going to need the rest. I'm going to need my strength. Alright, Superman. Oh, this is just like Home Alone. I could crouch and look through the window. Paramount presents. All right. All right, let's watch a movie and go to sleep. Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about the place. Um, hey, what were you doing staring at me, huh? Hey, no, 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 don't you run away from me. I see you. I saw you going into that place. I saw you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Don't bother them. And they won't bother you. Don't bother them. Okay. So I guess as long as I... Off. So definitely my message did not get out. Hmm. I don't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could, could help me stay up. Espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla, not available. Oh, chocolate, cappuccino. Bye. Okay. These items will help you stay awake. Soon. All right. Finally, I found it. <laughs> Mother of God. What in the hell? What in the hell? That's a message. Is this some kind of a drug that they put in the coffee? It's just weird. I'm so creeped out by this. I don't know what the hell's going on. I was supposed to keep me awake, not freaking high as hell. <laughs> 3 18 a.m. I was sedated.
They said the phone didn't work. Okay. Um, okay. That was freaky. Let's see. Who is it? Jeff from front desk, open the door. Hi. Okay, so I got me a guy in the closet. Didn't I suspectfully tell you to not wake anyone up? I have kind of complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down. Let's mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? No, I have no. We don't have no coffee machine here. It's just right there. I don't know you going goons here. See, follow me. Make my job. Wait, should I just... Should I open up this closet door? No, probably not. I might die. Besides, I think he might be one of them. Okay, so I got a guy in my closet so far. And this guy is, act is acting like that I'm doing stuff that's wrong. Huh. That's weird. Wait. Hold on, I just saw something in the darkness. Go back to the room. Let's see. I swear God was right here. So go back now. Okay. There should be some medication in your room that should offer some you relief. Check the table by the telly. Okay, no, no. You all sedated me and somehow you guys just remove the coffee thing. I'm pretty sure you guys removed the coffee thing. And there was somebody who just walked past here and possibly went in there. Hmm. Knew that there was somebody in there. Okay. I'm not going to take any medication. Yep, I'm not dumb. Or otherwise, that's what I'm expected to do. You know what? I'm going to, uh... I'm going to uh, boost up my sprinting speed because that's something I just found out with these uh, with these sodas. I could drink these sodas and or snacks and take in some real speed. I think I might do that. Oh, that's weird. I'm just gonna ignore that. Okay, some energizing soda. Energy so bye. Okay, this thing right here will probably get me going up pretty fast in case I have to get away from something. Zoom. Probably not going to be enough speed, but still. I guess I just need to take it then. There. Let's see, it requires water. I don't even know. I don't even get why she accepted all that medication from strangers. 
Ain't that against the law to do? Plus, you shouldn't be having medication in motel rooms. Because I heard that's against the rules. Oh. Well, what? Hello? That's all I'm hearing. Hello? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. I know you're in there. Oh. Okay, what's with them? Good thing this thing didn't catch my voice. Say, please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Just go away or I'm calling the cops. Pretty late. Oh my god! I try and make it run for it. Okay. To this day, I find find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived in the car after I felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Now you take the expensive way out.
Okay. So that was the uh, Norwood Hitchhike. God, this was a weird game. This really creeped me the hell out. I really had me a big jump scare at first. I didn't think I was like I couldn't like check the closet or anything. But thank you all so much for watching. If you guys really enjoyed this, leave a like and comment. Do not forget to subscribe. I am definitely gonna be getting out of this motel, and I'll be um, I'll be playing the third installment of the Fears of Phantom pretty soon, which I might do that the next day. So thank you all so much for watching again, and I will see you all in the next video.